Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I got some really disturbing information from uh, one of my longtime customers in my shop. Um, unfortunately, he went out to a party with his wife, and uh, when they got home late at night, uh, this happened Saturday night, he got home late at night, and uh, someone broke in and stole everything. And when I mean everything, everything. And, you know, he had a gun safe, about a five foot tall gun safe. And somehow they were able to get into this gun safe. Uh, he did not have an alarm system, did not have cameras. Uh, he had a dog, a larger dog, but the dog's friendly. And the criminals uh, threw cheeseburgers to the dog. So, uh, very disturbing. Uh, this guy's been stacking silver and gold for 20 years. And uh, pretty much any extra money he made at work or, or whatever money he had, he put it into silver and gold. And uh, unfortunately, it's all gone. And insurance will not cover it. So... Uh, I just got back from his house. He had me come over there. He wanted me to look uh, because the safe that he had appeared like it was somebody tried to or somebody got into it. At first glance, it looked like they got into it with crowbars and wedges of some kind. But it didn't make sense that somebody would be able to pry open a 500-pound safe with crowbars. I didn't think that was possible. Uh, he didn't want to believe it was possible. Uh, it's one of those combination, had one of those combination locks on it. And um, so I I just called a uh, buddy of mine who's a locksmith who who does work for uh, law enforcement. They crack safes for, uh, you know, with warrants, whatever. They do work for law enforcement, opening safes. And uh, I sent him pictures of the front of the safe. And he told me there's no way you can get in that way. So, it, you know, it looked like somebody was trying to make it look look like they broke in but they had the combination he claims nobody has the combination i don't know how they get somebody could get a combination or safe unless you told someone so there is uh, some weird mystery with that but uh you know his entire stack is gone you know i don't know exactly how much he said a lot a lot of money worth of stuff and it's just all gone along with uh firearms which he had serial numbers for and he gave it to the police whether or not they'll ever be recovered, I don't know. Probably not. And uh, he had crates of ammo, all gone. He had um, his wife's jewelry, all gone. And some cash, all gone. So he didn't tell me monetary, total monetary. But he basically said he's cleaned out. He got wiped out. And uh, that would be a terrible feeling and a terrible position to be in. Uh, I know how it feels kind of. Uh, my store has been burglarized three times, but, you know, that's your store. That's not your home. And, uh, you know, I thank God that my home has never been burglarized. Uh, my home is very secure, of course, but uh, that that must be a terrible feeling of being violated. And I feel uh, really bad for this guy. Um I wish he had the place more secure, no alarm system, no cameras, just the dog and the dog didn't do nothing, obviously. And, you know, didn't scare anybody away. Uh, neighbors nearby didn't hear nothing. None of them had cameras. So, uh, and they obviously knew he wasn't going to be home. So, or they watched him, somebody watched him, make sure he wasn't home. So they had all day to try to do this. Um, it's a, it's a valuable lesson uh, not to be naive, you know. Um, I'm not saying he's naive, but, you know, you might get complacent thinking, well, it can't happen in my neighborhood. Uh, he lives in a nice neighborhood, you know, pretty nice neighborhood, middle-class neighborhood. And that's pretty much where these uh, criminals go, where they target. So uh, it's a good lesson, you know. Uh, make sure you have an alarm system. Uh, make sure you have a safe, but make sure nobody knows the codes <laughs> and, uh, 
it would be smart to have a dummy safe, you know, one out in the open with very little in it and then have another one that's hidden and uh, for sure cameras and, you know, maybe a couple pit bulls or something like that. I don't know. But uh, just keep in mind, man, all your uh, hard work acquiring all your uh, bullion can be gone in a heartbeat if you don't protect it. You can't go put it in the bank, so you got to protect it on your own. So make sure it's secure. So I would really like to hear uh, from some of you guys in the comments about, you know, any tips on securing this stuff. Because uh, a couple of my customers are pretty naive. I used to have a doctor customer who used to come in. He used to buy gold for me. And uh, he had no alarm system in the house. And he told me he just had it in a shoebox somewhere. That's not smart. Uh, I would uh, definitely figure out ways to secure your stuff, guys. Uh, don't fall into that, you know, trap. And um, just a quick video. Uh, I feel really bad for him. And uh, anybody, like I said, anybody have any comments on any good tips? I think that would be valuable for everybody. Uh, thank you and have a good day.